Hey everybody, in today's quick tip, we're gonna talk about how you control the direction of cut and where your lead in position is for two axis profiles. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, our first step here is to load a two axis machining feature. So we're gonna right click on our machine setup and come down to where it says mill two axis. This will launch the mill two axis wizard where you'll find many of your two axis programming operations. Our first step here is to select geometry. So we'll left click on select geometry and then we're gonna choose the bottom edges of the part that we want to machine. Now, if you're dealing with more than a single entity, if you right click on one of the edges, you can choose either a loop or a tangency selection. Now that we have all the features that we want a profile selected, we'll go ahead and check it down. From here, we can choose the machining strategies we want to apply to that geometry. In our example, we're just going to look at a profile rough, and then we'll choose next. From here, we can choose the tool size that we want to use. I'm going to use a 3 8 end mill. The other setting that I want to look at is our lead style. This is how the tool comes into the wall. Uh, you can come in vertically, parallel, right angle, circular, or blended. In our example, we're going to use right angle. We'll come in here and we'll add a little bit of clearance so that the tool starts off the wall. We'll go ahead and take a look as we compute our tool path. Now let's get to a front view here so we can get a better look at what's going on. We have a feature created. We've selected our geometry. Okay, and right now it looks as if we have no tool path, but really the tool path is cutting on the wrong side of the line. And that is the point of today's quick tip is how to control where it cuts as far as what direction and where it starts. If we right click on our default chain start point and choose modify, we can see arrows for all of our chains and those arrows indicate where the tool would lead in and what direction it would cut in. For our inside shapes, we wanna set all of these to counterclockwise. In order to change the direction of cut, you just click on the arrow to change it from clockwise to counterclockwise. We want a climb mill, so all of our inside shapes, we wanna have selected in a counterclockwise fashion. Now for our outside shape, I'm just gonna move it over here, and this one we wanna be cutting in a clockwise direction, again for climb milling. Once we've adjusted our start points, we can check it down, and then in order to update the toolpath, we just right click on the operation and choose compute toolpath. Now you can see that our inside shapes are cutting where they should, and our outside shapes are cutting where they should. I recommend you give this option a try in your next project.